Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a children's book review. So before I start, I'd just like to say thank you very much to everyone who has subscribed to my channel so far. I really appreciate it. And if you do wish to subscribe, then please feel free to hit that so button recently below. recently I found a brand new channel on YouTube called The Picture Book Nook which I will link in the description box below for you. They review children's books, so they do a book a day. It's a really good channel and I've been really inspired by them to do my own children's book review. So I thought I'd do a top five of Ted's favorite books. And the first book I've got is the Osborne Nursery Rhyme picture book. This is a beautiful book. My mum and dad bought this for us when Ted was first born and I have to say it's been well used since then. Um, it's just basically a book of nursery rhymes but it's really helpful for me because I'm the sort of person who forgets nursery rhymes. How you can forget nursery rhymes I'll never know but I just forget them. So this book has been really handy for us. Um, it's beautiful. The nursery rhymes are just simple plain nursery rhymes and the illustrations in this are lovely as well. And I was speaking to a librarian once who said that nursery rhymes are actually a really good way to get your children to learn language. So that's been really useful for us. Um, the next book I have is Goodnight Tractor by Michelle Robinson and illustrated by Nick East. Um, we also have Goodnight Pirate and we have Goodnight Digger as well. This is a beautiful book. It's really beautifully illustrated. And basically it's about a little boy who has to say goodnight to his tractor before he goes to bed. But he, he goes on a little journey and he says goodnight to everything that um, has to do with the tractor basically. So that's a lovely book. We really enjoy reading this. The story is in sort of a rhyme, so everything rhymes as well. So it's another good one for learning language, I think. Then the next book I have is Can I Slurp My Spaghetti? Uh, illustrated by Julia Seal. It says it's a Sainsbury's book, so I'm not sure if you could get this in the US or not. I will link all the books on Amazon for you. And I will take a look and see if I can find this one on Amazon. But basically, this is a story about a little girl who invites her friends home for tea. And when tea is served, they don't like it. And it's, it's very good for fussy eaters because it's a good way to get them to eat food. I won't spoil the ending for you if you do decide to buy it. It's a lovely book. It's very well illustrated again. And the story is just beautiful as well. So we really enjoy that book. Um, the second book, and this is probably my favourite book, I have to say, is The Best Pirates. So this is a boy, about a little boy, on a pirate ship. I would say it was a make-believe pirate ship, but it's made out to be a real pirate ship. And all the other kids on the pirate ship say he's too small to do anything. And then they go out to try and find treasure, and they get themselves stuck and the little boy has to come and rescue them. It's really funny and it's really clever and I really enjoy reading it to Ted. It's really well illustrated as well. It's very bright and colorful and we love that book. I think that's my favorite book. And then I know this is Ted's top favorite book. This is Richard Scary's Cars and Trucks and Things That Go. This is a story about a family who go on a journey. So they go on a picnic and then it's basically their journey to the picnic and then to home again. Um, it's lovely, it's very well illustrated. It has lots of different cars and trucks and lorries in it. So if you have a child who really likes cars and things, this is a great book for them. It has a, a little character in it called Goldbug. Um, and you have to try and find him as well. It's a very long book, I have to say. So it's a book if you've got a lot of time before you put your kids to bed, which I know in this modern world isn't always the case, but it's a very good book and it's really interesting and Ted really loves it as well. So this, I would say, is Ted's That's it favorite for me. book. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Again, I will leave the picture book nook details in the description box below for you. 
If you have any suggestions on books that you think Ted might like or any books that your children like, then please leave them in the comments box below as well. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!